the craziest experience with a sheath mask I have ever had. Well, what happened to your finger? And I'm just like, you know, baguette. <laughs> Will I shut up about it? Probably not. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I wanted to talk about new products in my skincare collection, things that I have discovered just now, things that I have rediscovered and so forth. So it's not going to be like my whole skincare routine, just like different bits that I've found recently that I really liked. Before we get into it, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and go check out my Instagram for more fun content. Now let's get into it. Okay, so the first product we have today is the Verso nourishing mask now i have talked about this before i did a video where i reviewed a bunch of sample size luxury products that i got and this was this was in it but now i got the full size this is so good if your skin just feels really dehydrated you have that like winter skin you know what i mean if you live anywhere cold you would know what i'm talking about i don't know what it is but even if your skin doesn't feel super dry it's still kind of dehydrated and like weird when it gets really cold outside at least that's how it is for me and this has just been a lifesaver this is one of those overnight masks that actually sink into your skin like i wake up and i don't have this like film on my face of just like oil and greasiness that some masks give you I, sometimes i also use this like in the morning before my makeup if my skin was feeling particularly dry i didn't feel like my moisturizer you know did everything for it i just put on some of this i've actually been using this around my eyes as well just all over because i get a lot of dryness around my eyes and i really noticed that when i put on concealer sometimes it just gets super patchy and weird and it doesn't irritate my skin at all not even my eye area so that's been great it's fragrance free has a lot of like nice ingredients so i'll definitely check this out i just love the packaging it's so minimalistic and simple it is pricey if you get it on sale though i got like 25 percent off i think so it wasn't that bad and a mask is something you probably don't use it every single day a little goes a long way so if you do struggle with a lot of dry skin and you really just need something to fix that i would recommend it i've said this before i love a cheap cleanser i love a cheap moisturizer but some products i like to invest in because i definitely feel like it's worth it and they are better than a lot of the drugstore alternatives next up i wanted to talk about the sheath masks from simple skincare now i only tried this yesterday but i was absolutely blown away and often with sheath masks i'm just a bit like i love the experience it feels like luxury it makes my skin feel hydrated this mask it wasn't this one it was the one called coconut water hydrating mask or something like that i'll put in a picture the craziest experience with a sheath mask i have ever had my skin felt so plump and soft after felt like i've had a facial or something until the next morning my skin was just like insanely hydrated with it and i just loved it also these masks don't have any fragrance they're really gentle on the skin and you know affordable and accessible i don't know it was just a sheath mask but i am going to rave about this because it was it was sick it was sick i never had that result from using a sheath mask i used to actually drag sheath masks quite a lot because you know it's not necessary it really isn't also it's more waste than using like a mask in you know like a tub so i don't use sheath mask all the time but maybe like once a week i've been really busy recently and like my everyday life a lot of things have been going on a lot of stress at uni and just that extra luxury moment of you know pulling out a sheet mask to add to your routine at night amazing and i know they have a few different masks i also got this one this is the pollution protect sheet mask so i'm looking forward to trying this this were the one they had in stock at the store i went to but i have seen some other ones online so i will try to you know get as many as i can and try them out and next up we have an overnight mask from purito i love purito like they have so many good products and i'm always excited for new stuff and this is the dermite Sika barrier sleeping pack i first tried it in a sample while i was traveling and i really liked it so i bought the full size now i will be honest i haven't used this as much as i've used the Verso nourishing mask and this is also really nice but it does kind of leave you a little bit with that greasy layer when you wake up in the morning but it's still really really good in terms of like moisturizing hydrating your skin and it also has some tallow in it so it's going to calm down your skin quite well i still need to try this a bit more i think but now in winter it's the perfect time to try these sleeping masks so it's currently minus 10 outside it is really cold and i don't love winter but i just try to get through it my skin has had this like weird kind of face where i don't like physically feel like it's super dry but it's probably quite dehydrated a lot of the time when i put on makeup it's gone quite patchy it kind of has a little 
for today but i have recently struggled a lot with this area right here like the inner part of my cheek the concealer kind of going weird on my foundation and stuff and then also like some patches on my forehead and like this cheek i think for some reason is a bit weird at the moment i've just been trying to kind of repair my skin a bit give it like a lot of moisture and hydration to see if that does anything you know next up another product from purito that i've been loving recently is the centella unscented serum i love their centella line they have a lot of good products and especially the unscented one i really like this is a serum that it's not going to like change your skin forever it's like the best thing ever it's just a nice serum like a nice basic serum that calms down your skin and gives you hydration basically although i will say i also have the centella unscented toner you do not need both of these at the same time these are literally the same thing i feel like in a toner and in a serum so you know you don't need both of them so if you just need a serum or a toner that's just going to calm down your skin and hydrate it would really recommend and next up i pulled out the cerave micellar water i talked about this in a video where i discussed saving money on skincare i have really been liking this like i said in that video i went from using the la roche posay micellar water also a really good option but it is more expensive than this it's really effective at removing makeup doesn't irritate my skin yeah it does what a micellar water is supposed to do so you know if you can get your hands on this i would really recommend it also by the way my thumb is fine it was just like one of those classic moments where i was cutting up a baguette and yeah slipped a little bit it's fine it's just you know taking a bit of time to heal <laughs> it probably looks a lot worse than it is gotten some questions like at uni well what happened to your finger and i'm just like you know baguette <laughs> So next up we have the Niacinamide Serum from the Inky List. I talked about this in my Tenerife vlog. I bought it at the beginning of that vacation and I tried it throughout. But now I've been using it for a few weeks and I still love it. Like I've said many times before, Niacinamide on my skin doesn't seem to do like revolutionary things. Like it's not like when I started using retinol and really noticed a big change. I just think it's a nice serum. Niacinamide is a good ingredient. I like when it's added to things. And this was just a serum I picked up because I wanted to have an evening serum and i didn't bring one on the trip because i just didn't have one that was like easy to pack and stuff the texture is a lot better than the one from the ordinary i find the ordinary niacinamide serum it foams up you know it's not the worst thing in the world but it's also not that nice also really affordable so yeah would recommend next up if you have seen the tenerife vlog you would have seen this cleanser mentioned several times this is my new favorite cleanser and i don't often say that because most of the time i'll buy a new cleanser it will be totally fine but i won't go as far as saying this is like my new favorite i want to use this all the time i don't know how many times i can talk about this without people getting bored but i love it so this is a gel cleanser it comes out as a gel and it foams up to like this really fine foam i like to compare it to the cerave foaming cleanser which i do also like but that one foams up to like larger bubbles which is not my favorite kind of thing whereas this just has like the finest foam will i shut up about it Probably not. So the next product is actually a fragrance. I don't often talk about fragrance on my channel just because I don't use that many different ones. I haven't really like explored the world of fragrance, I guess. But this is the Clean Classic Shower Fresh Perfume. And I got this after my Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue ran out. I have been using that one for years and years and I love it. But this is kind of similar to the Light Blue in terms of being just a really like fresh scent. And also this has irritated my skin less than the Dolce & Gabbana one. I don't really know why but I tend to spray it like here and here which I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but I do it and my neck is like really sensitive for some reason. I've talked about this before when I put fake tan on it it goes crazy so I just stopped doing it but also sometimes it could get irritated by perfume but this one doesn't irritate my skin which is crazy that's a tip if you know you want to try different perfume and you have sensitive skin I would recommend it I like I said I don't know why it's like that but yeah it works so the next two products i haven't actually tried yet they came in the mail today and these are two masks from peter thomas roth this is the cucumber gel mask and these are the cucumber eye patches i am really excited about trying these the review seems to be mostly good online although there are some people that give it like one star and say it didn't do anything so i'm excited to try if it is as holy grail as some people say or if it is just you know some mask and then the eye patches they are called the cucumber detox hydrogel eye patches i just wanted to try some eye patches because i have just had really long days at uni a lot of work a lot of stress and like i said with the sheath masks i just like to come home in the evening have a full-on routine have some extra luxury so i thought i would treat myself to these and we get 30 pairs of patches so this is the 
box really nice packaging by the way so we have the spatula and here are the patches they look so cool what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put both of these in my fridge i've heard a lot of people talk about that thank you so much for watching you guys i would love it if you subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and go check out my instagram for more fun content and i will see you very soon bye